Brandon Jones said coach Brian Flores is the best in the business. Player at 2021 Senior Bowl said Tua Tungavailoa is a true leader. Fitzpatrick most likely stayed in Miami Dolphins. Raiders receiver Nelson Aguilar told teammates they sucked after loss to Dolphins. Please subscribe and ring the bell before we start. And don't forget that we will talk about Dolphins' new offensive coordinator at 1 p.m. this afternoon. The third day of Senior Bowl practices offered fans a unique look the national team as they received instruction from the Miami Dolphins coaching staff. Head coach Brian Flores answered questions at the beginning of the broadcast. He detailed what he's looking for in players that want to be Miami Dolphins. We're looking for guys who are tough, who are smart, who are competitive, who love to play and who are team first, Flores said. Those are kind of the criteria we're looking for in a Miami Dolphin, I would say in these first couple did a few guys who fit that criteria. As the team takes a look at top talent for the 2021 draft down in Mobile this week, let's look at some of the comments from former coaches and teammates about a few of the Dolphins 2020 rookie class prior to draft night. Noah Igbenogany, that kid's attitude is phenomenal, McGriff said. You have to run him out of the building. Jason Strobridge, what stands out the most about Strobridge since I've met him is his work ethic is unbelievable, Cross said. Very coachable young man. Super quick. Really wants to learn and get better every single day. Tua Tungavailoa, it doesn't matter if it's the training room, the locker room, the practice field, the equipment room, the coach's office, that guy is a true leader, Sarkeesian said. Everybody knows the work ethic, the desire and the competitiveness Tungavailoa has. Staying on the theme of Miami's 2020 rookie class, third-round pick Brandon Jones shared his thoughts on seeing his coaching staff on the field F on the field in Mobile. He said coach Brian Flores is the best in the business. Veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick most likely stayed in Miami Dolphins. As much as I appreciate Fitzpatrick as does the rest of the NFL world, I don't see Flores and Greer bringing him back for the sole reason that he knows this will be Tua's team going forward. But, Fitzpatrick is likely to stay as Tua's supporter. While there were a lot of rumors, Fitzpatrick didn't seem to care. He's 38 years old this year, and with a contract between $3 million and $5 million would be a good choice for Fitzpatrick. Raiders receiver Nelson Aguilar told teammates they sucked after loss to Miami Dolphins. The Raiders' first season in Las Vegas busted on a Saturday night against the Dolphins, when Miami pulled off a ridiculously unlikely come-from-behind win fueled by a horrible defensive call, a bad coverage, and a grab and twist of Ryan Fitzpatrick's face mask that made him look like Linda Blair in The Exorcist. After the game, Raiders receiver Nelson Aguilar had some choice words for his teammates. Via Vic Taffer of TheAthletic.com, Aguilar, said his teammates were selfish and didn't work hard enough, and that they had quit against the Dolphins as well as in the previous two losses. He said there was no accountability in the locker room, and on winning teams players play for one another and the coaches. Dot. Aguilar told his teammates that they sucked. Aguilar's diatribe punctuates the failure of the Raiders to thrive in 2020, or in coach John Gruden's prior two years with the team. The Raiders have underachieved, but Gruden won't be accountable because the owner remains smitten with the idea of Gruden coaching the team, despite the team's struggles when Gruden is coaching it. As to Aguilar, he becomes a free agent in March. It will be interesting to see whether he decides to stay with the Raiders, or whether Gruden still wants Aguilar around.